Kara Scott here with Magazine Music, and I'm here with the head of programming here for this movie. So tell me, getting the location together and the facts, what was the process of getting that all together? Oh, wow. Um, so I hired a production company, uh, and I hired a company that's local to Atlanta, um, that's steeped in Atlanta, so they knew what locations to get. Um, I, I, we've used them quite a few times. Uh, we used them on the uh, Mickey Howard biopic, so we trust them. Um, but we first started off with the script. If it's not on the page, um, then it's not going to be there. So we hired a, a young lady by the name of Katrina Ogilvie to write the script. And she really just did a real deep dive into the historical um, trough of information um, for her to pull out the script. And we trusted her, and she did a fantastic job. This guy here, Keeping It 100 with Magazine Music. And I'm here with one of the stars of Behind the Movement. Tell me about your role that you play in this movie. Uh, my role, I play Ella, and I the role that I have is with Rosa. We're in jail together. And it is, to me, that was when I read that, it was something very important. Because at that time, there weren't a lot of women in jail. So I was like, this has to be something very serious to why she's in here, but that's pretty much my role with it. Do you see a similarity between where America is now and back then after playing this role and playing this movie? Um, yes, definitely, because not outside of just my role, I did a lot of research. Um, I interviewed some family members that are still living, that lived through that time, and it's like some things have changed. We have made a little progress, but there is so much more work that needs to be done, and it, it, it's just crazy. So. so tell us, where can we keep up with you, your social media? How can we keep in contact with what you got going on? Okay, so I'm on Instagram, uh, marquita.goings, and I'm pretty active on there. So... <laughs> Hit me up on Instagram. So I'm here at the Civil Rights Center here with Sir Brody. And can you tell us about your role on Behind the Movement? I actually play a character, Alfonso Campbell. Mm -hmm. He was a um, traffic engineer. He was given the responsibility to map out the routes for the boycott. So as they boycotted the buses, they still had to get to school, get to work, get to church, get to, to the store, different places. And Alfonso mapped it out and got the the cab drivers, the, the Negro cab drivers, and volunteers together, and they mapped out a route so that people could still catch rides and get to where they need to be. So what else do you think people will learn from watching this movie? Because I didn't even know about this person that played. That's a major role in this movement. So what else do you think people will learn from this movie? They're going to learn about behind the scenes because mostly we get the media version of it where Rosa was tired, she didn't want to give up her seat and that sort of thing, and she just wouldn't give her seat up and go sit in the back of the bus. That's what I remember as a kid. She didn't want to sit in the back of the bus. But this movie will actually educate you on the individuals from the community who actually played an important role in the movement. And it was because of them that the movement actually happened. And Rosa stepped up and became the face of it. Absolutely. So can you tell me where we can find you on social media to keep up with what you have going on? At, at actor Sir Brody on all the social media platforms yeah you can uh, catch me in this movie on February the 11th you can catch me in the season finale of Atlanta on FX this season I recur on Survivor's Remorse as Pookie um, and I'm gonna be in the Paterno movie starring Al Pacino coming out in March Thank you so much here with Magazine Music. Here is Sky here with Meta Golding, this Meta Golding, the star of Behind the Movement. Tell me, from going from playing on the Hunger Games, yes. which is about a woman, you know, yes. striving for the, her rights yes. and the people's rights, yes. to being the star of this movie, which yes. is also the same type type of theme. Tell yes. me, how was that for you? Um, well, it's amazing. Hunger Games was a phenomena, and I was really um, honored to be part of that phenomena. But this is history, and this is part of American history that I feel like people only have an image. People, or I only knew Rosa Parks, uh, how she refused to give up her seat, but I didn't know that she was a citizen activist. I didn't know everything that went behind. Um, I didn't know everything that went behind uh, the B Montgomery bus boycott. So it was in completely uh, empowering, inspiring, and I'm just so honored to be part of this project. So what is next for you? What other projects do you have um, coming up? Well, I'm going to be playing Cleopatra, starring uh, Steven Spielberg is directing. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, you know what? I'm. This is a really hard act to follow. Um, you know, you wait your whole career to play a part like this. Uh, so I'm, I'm figuring it out, but it's a definitely a hard act to follow. Major stepping stone for you. Congratulations. Yeah, you so Skier Skyward Made a Golden. Keeping it 100 with Magazine Music. Thank you so much.